Observation one four three five Zulu. Wind two four zero at seven knots. Wind variable between two zero zero and two eight zero. Visibility more than one zero. Sky condition clear below one two thousand. Temperature seven Celsius. Dew point one Celsius. Altimeter three zero zero six inches of mercury. Somerville traffic, Bonanza 226, Romeo Pop, final 24, Somerville traffic. All right, we're headed out to Mike Quebec Whiskey today. Um, no reason, we're just flying that direction. They have decent fuel, and I've not been to that airport. It's in Georgia, so we're heading that way. Off a control stabilizer trim. That will do the rest of the runway. Correct frequency and our approach frequency is in there, so let's get rolling. Oh, parking brakes on. There we go, we know it's working. Got the brakes, there we go. Somerville traffic, Mooney 811 at the rear hangars, taxi in 24, Somerville. So, um, yeah guys, Happy New Year. Um, this will for sure be my last flight of the year. I've got New Year's Eve plans and not flying tomorrow. And I won't be flying on New Year's Day. So, uh, yeah, this will be it for the year. I think I should be at about 280-something, 284 after today, 285, something like that. I wanted to see if I could hit 300, but... Uh, I didn't quite make it. The plane was down uh, for a few weeks for the autopilot install, and I think that had that not happened, I think I'd have hit 300. I think I could have done it. But whatever, 285 is pretty good. Again, I'm I'm flying out of pocket here, so I'm not really uh, not doing like the CFI thing where I'm, I'm building hours on other people's dimes. So 285 is good. Uh, I'm happy with that. Penny, I'll uh, hold short before I pull in. Uh, where are you guys at? We're on uh, Alpha, oh. just short of Bravo. Roger, we got you. Um, all right, we'll go ahead of you. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yeah, about 280, 285 hours this year. Um, definitely a good year of flying. Got my instrument ticket this year, my commercial uh, ticket this year. And uh, yeah, 280 hours of flying. Um, but here we are holding short of 24. We'll cut the vlog stuff and get back to the checklist and then uh, we'll get in the air and head over. All right, laps one. Mixture to go, prop to go. I always leave though, or props done. Kyle flaps are open. Power boost, electronic fuel pump to go. Beacon, nav light, landing, seat belts and doors checked. Windows checked, toga button. Retraction lever, we have clearance. Nothing's gonna come off the seat, everything is good. Left seat takeoff, I'm piloting a command, no one on the right seat. Uh, runway 24, no good options off of it, but it is daytime, we got good visibility, so we can find a better than uh, average crash site, hopefully, if something goes wrong. Anything goes wrong on the runway, I'll know about it, because I'm gonna check my airspeed after my engine instruments. If I'm not at rotation speed, uh, way before the 1,000 foot markers, I should be. I should have airspeed and be rotating about five, 700 feet today. If I don't do that, I'm going to stop on the runway and we'll uh, pull off and sort that out. Anything happens after we're in the air and I have no runway left, which is going to be right away at this airport, uh, we're going to take it ahead and we're not going to consider a turn back until 1,000 feet, climbing 65. Uh, departure today is going to be more or less straight out. It'll be a slight right turn out. So we'll just go straight off the runway and then on course to Mike Quebec Whiskey. And that should be a decent briefing. Everything here is good. Okay, back to the checklist. 
We're gonna expect the engine to die and take off. We'll be waiting for it. I'm gonna say there it is, push forward with no hesitation to find a place to land. I like that briefing. Everything's free and correct. You guys ready to go? Let's do it. Right, fuel pump, landing light, mixture, flaps are good, everything's good. Somerville traffic, Mooney 79811, taking off runway 24, we straight out to Somerville. Alright. Gorgeous day today, guys. Chilly and windy, that's why I'm flying today. I haven't had much crosswind practice lately, so um, I'll definitely get that today. It's going to be windy, gusty, all bumpy today, and that's why I'm flying alone. I didn't want to take any passengers with me and scare them, so I'm expecting a turbulent, bumpy, windy ride today, but that's that's what I want. All right, here's 2-4, confirmed. One final check. Always check, check, check. There we go. Wait for that engine to die. Let's roll it on. There we go. Alrighty, there's full power. I'm making full RPM. Everything's in the green. We're at rotation speed already. Off the ground at about 500 feet. Tap the brakes. Positive brake. Gears coming up. Gears up. Oh, already getting knocked around. Holy cow, like an elevator today. Alrighty. Summerville traffic, Mooney 811, departing off the upwind 24. Uh, headed out to the west. Somerville. Holy cow, yeah. Definitely bumpy. I made the right call. Fuel pump, landing light. Mixture's good for now. That's good. This can come open. Holy cow, you guys. I, I'm climbing like crazy today. Yeah, I'm 1,600 feet a minute. 17. This is the most climb rate I've ever seen. There we go. Just got into some smooth air. We're at 120 miles an hour, which is my cruise climb speed. Temperatures are all good. And we were at 1,700 feet a minute at the most right there, and now we're slowing back down to 1,000 plus. Alrighty. We'll go to direct to... Turn on the nav button just so we know where to go. I'm going to hand fly it for a little while here. IAS mode. To climb out at 106 knots, 120 mile an hour. Wow, look at this, you guys. Cruise climb at 1,200 feet a minute. More than that. I love the cold weather at sea level. Can't beat it. Yeah, so my wife got me that ice bath for Christmas, and I've done it every single day since Christmas. Um, but it is South Carolina, and it was, it's was it been warm. It's been in the 60s here uh, around Christmas time. So it's been... I've been, and it's been getting colder, so it's been perfect. I've been slowly stepping down the temperatures. Uh, we started it at 60, then we were in the mid 50s, and this morning I got it below 50, so I was in the upper 40s. That was painful, but I've been able to do five minutes every single time. I did 10 minutes one, one time, but um, I think five is the sweet spot, so I've been enjoying it. It's been, actually I've been not enjoying it, but I've been enjoying the fact that I have not been enjoying it, if that makes sense. It's like, something I dread in the morning, but I do it anyway, I make myself do it, go through the pain, and it's like an, a win right away. The first thing you do in the morning is you do that, and then you've like, you've won, you've done something. And it's, it's awesome. You get out of it, and you feel like euphoric, and you're like, ah, I got that out of the way. And then nothing else really sucks <laughs> like that, like that bad uh, for the rest of the day. So again, this is just a pointless cross country, headed out to, it's in Georgia, kind of, Central, Southern, Eastern, Georgia. We've got a 37 dot headwind. Which, uh, hopefully is there on the way back. That would be cool. That'd be 180, 190 knot territory on ground speed. But uh, I have a knack for finding headwinds going both directions. So let's hit the checklist. I've been talking a lot. Okay, gear, obviously gear and flaps are up. There we go. BY, we got that. RPM, I like it where it's at. Uh, Comp flaps, fuel pump, landing light, power boost. Everything's good. Cool. Uh, butter smooth up here, but it is cold. 31 degrees. Now, obviously, no visible moisture at these temperatures, which there are some clouds, so they all look above me, and I'm in like a haze layer, so I'm not good at icing. I don't know. I've never flown in icing, and I've never experienced it in an aircraft that can handle it. You know, I've just never experienced it, so I don't know what it looks like yet. You know, I've studied it, obviously, but I'm just, I'm overly cautious when it comes to that. I just, uh, just very, 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 very careful. I really don't think there's any con 
risk of icing today, but that's just, that's how careful I am at the moment, because, it don't, I don't know. We're at a cruise altitude, 6,500 feet. We are going west. West is best. Even is better than now. We're going VFR today. That's why it's 6,000 for even, 500 for VFR. 2,400 RPM. We got our big pull. Right about nine gallons an hour. Doing about 150 knots. 9.5 gallons an hour, 9.4. 150 knots. Bring the cop flaps closed. Everyone says the cop flaps gives you an extra knot, but I do not believe that. <laughs> right. So yeah, guys, 2023 was a just a awesome year aviation-wise for me. You guys know I got my license at the very end of 2021. So basically, I started 2022 with my private pilot's license. I uh, trained in 2021, got my license, and then went on a vacation to Mexico and didn't fly. And then. Um, when I got back, yeah, it was 2022. So um, it's been it's been basically two years now of, of flying. I'm at about 580, 590 hours, something like that, and um, it's been amazing. I've been super fortunate, been able to go on some trips. I flew across the country with my friend. We went, uh, you know, all the way. We bought my last Mooney in Seattle and flew that home. Um, I've taken the family on some vacations. We've gone to Florida a couple of times. We've gone to Chicago a couple of times. It's been just a blast. Super fortunate, super lucky. Been really enjoying this uh, this airplane. You know, I've got my commercial pilot's certificate now, and um, I'm just building hours, working on it, trying to get to a point where I can get a job. I know you guys will say, well, you can get a job at 580 or 600 hours, even 750, and I know that, but I need to. I need to get a, I need to be qualified for a job where I could, you know, afford to, afford to support my family, which of course, um, I don't need to make the same salary I'm making now, but just enough to support my family. So that's, that's kind of what I'm waiting on. So this is my path and that's, that's what I'm, I'm working on. Maybe the most rewarding thing that, that I found recently is the angel flights. I know I've talked about it in the last few videos, but I have really, really enjoyed flying the Angel Flights, man. It has been just so rewarding. I got to, actually for Christmas, they sent the Burn Center in Augusta, Georgia, sent me a, a nice thank you card and a little gift. Uh, it was a, yeah, like an airplane bottle opener. Just really, really cool. And um, they sent that to me because uh, I don't even know how they knew about me because I go through Angel Flight. I never talked to anyone at the burn center or anything like that, but they, uh, you know, I've, I've flown a, a few burn victims at this point to and from their appointments out there, and somehow they, they, they knew it was me, and they sent me a nice gift to my house, which uh, totally blew me away. Uh, it's it, just amazing. So fun. And uh, so rewarding. So that was kind of cool. So what's next for 2024? My 2024 goals, as of now, well, my goal, I only really have one. It's I, my multi-engine commercial, right? If I get that done in early to mid-2024, I'm happy. Uh, and I'll, all of it is is financial, right? That's that, that's what I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on the funds. You know how that goes. But to get my multi-engine commercial done, I'll be happy. Oh, cool. I'm flying over uh, Walterboro right now. This is where I got my instrument and my commercial check rides done. I can see the thousand foot markers where I hit my power off 180. Nailed it. But yeah, multi-engine commercial. I really am considering my CFI. I would, I would, I, I think I'd really enjoy that. If I could make it work, I will. If I can make it, uh, you know, if I can, if I can make it work, I will. That's all I'll say. There's a lot, a lot I'm considering when I, when I talk about that, but I think I would really enjoy that. And for another reason, there's people in my family that are interested in, in flying, and I think it'd be really cool to teach them how to fly, obviously for free, but that'd be, that'd be cool, because you know, they'd have access to an aircraft, my aircraft, and um, if I could teach teach people to fly and get some people in my family their, their pilot certificates, that would be that would be fun, so there'd be another thing I'd like to do, and uh, if, I could get, if I get both of those done in 2024, then I've exceeded my goals, so I'll be happy. Man, the heat in this airplane, that is on the squawk list 
for 2020 or for the iron annual coming up. My last plane would cook you. Uh, why am I not getting heat? I don't know. It, and it sucks both. It, it leaks in the summer, so it gets you hot in the summer, and then it's not hot enough in the winter. Yeah, it's 28 degrees, and I'm, I was already cold, obviously from the frickin' ice bath. And now my heater's barely working. I might have to go lower to some warmer, warmer air. Charleston Approach, Community 7, 9, or 8, 1, 1, VFR flight following request. Stand by. Stand by. Uh, 909, descend to maintain 5,000. In the Mooney calling, are you going to be continuing southwest bound? Affirmative, 7, 9, or 8, 1, 1. We can contact Buford Approach, 125.12, then we I mean, can make the flight following request with them. Roger, thanks. See you. One, two, one, one. I thought he might do that. I should have just waited, but... And Buford, good morning. Mooney, 7, 9, or 8, 1, 1. VFR flight following request. Rob calling Buford Approach, say again. Yeah, Buford Approach, Mooney, 7, 9, or 8, 1, 1. Flight following request. Mooney, 7, 9, or 8, 1, 1. Buford Approach, altimeter 3009, or say request. All right, 09 in the altimeter, and uh, request the VFR flight following to Mike Quebec Whiskey. At 6,500 feet, we are six miles southwest of uh, Walterboro at 6,500. Mini 79 or 811. Mini 79 or 811. Roger, I dent, stand by for your squawk. I dent, stand by 811. Ah, oh, freaking freezing up here. And I have a gigantic leak, I think, under here. So I feel like just cold air blowing in from the avionics bay. I can't tell if that's the avionics cooling duct blowing on me or if it is just a, a leak from the avionics bay that I know is not sealed well. So I'm, I'm so cold. <sighs> Mini 811, your radar contact six miles uh, west of Walter Bar Barra Airport at 6,500. Squawk 3250. Position check 3250811. Alright, so we do have an ice air met that just popped up. 1,000 to 7,000. Uh-oh. That's exactly where I'm at. I will be out of it, though, in a second. I'm paying, paying attention. There's no, no visible moisture, so no need to freak out. Mooney 811, contact Jacksonville Center 132.902. Good day. 3292, 811. Good day. Jack Center, good morning, Mooney. 7, 9, or 811, 6,500. Number 79811 Jack, center welcome, Savannah, 30310. The rest of this play is going to be pretty boring. Uh, it's just cross country time building. There's not going to be much more. We'll be on flight following, so. Jack, speech jet 717, Tango Gosh, with you. Speech jet, cool. Yeah, I'm going to kill the cameras here and I'll, uh, I'll turn it back on if anything fun happens and uh, if nothing else, we'll catch the landing into uh, Mike Quebec Whiskey in Georgia. Um, be back with you guys in a little while. Alright guys, we're here at uh, Tell Fair, which is Mike Quebec Whiskey. We're now just about into the left downwind for runway 21, and it is bumpy down here. Got weightless a few times in my seat from the uh, turbulence, but again, we knew that coming out today, that was the whole point. So, autopilot's coming off, I'm gonna maneuver into this downwind. Woo! Telfair traffic, Mooney 79811 is left downwind 21, full stop, Telfair. Alright, landing lights already on. Okay, below 120. There's my numbers. Gears coming down. Down, locked, pulled, and indicating. Power comes back, mixture prop. Two pumps, trim for 100. Yeah, so the tank I want undercarriage is down. I feel it, I see it. Make sure and prop, set, switch is set, seatbelts are on, first comes check, speed's good. Telfair traffic, Mooney 79811, left base, 21, full stop, Telfair traffic. Expecting that right crosswind. Telfair traffic, Mooney 79811, turning final, runway 21, Telfair. Holy moly. Alright, so we are ready for the go around today. Gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, switches. Gears down, gears down. 
Runway 21 confirmed. Ready for the go around because it is very bumpy today. We'll keep an extra, a little bit extra speed in here. Got a long runway. Bird. Okay. Holy cow. Woo! That's up. Keep that crosswind correction in. Okay, that was the most challenging landing that I have done in a long time. I definitely landed left of center line, which I'm not happy about. Look at this crosswind. That's funny because it's also saying I landed with a tailwind, which is not what the winds were reporting on the ground. So. Maybe this is a gust coming through, but I 100% landed with a tailwind. A good tailwind, too. Wow, not even close. And Telfair traffic, Mooney 79811, clear 21, taxi to fuel, Telfair traffic. There you go, guys. That was a uh, very challenging landing. Like I said, crosswind, and I landed with a, a tailwind there. So, didn't slam it down or anything. I just landed left to center line. And, um, you know, that's that's part of it. I mean, not every landing's perfect, certainly, um, and I actually feel like I'm, I mean, I, I, not to like pat myself on the back, but usually I'm, I'm greasing this plane in when I land, it, I've got, gotten pretty good, you know, that was the whole point of coming out today, you can't just fly in good weather, you have to fly and, uh, get your crosswind practice and all that stuff, here we go. So there you go, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. I'm gonna grab some fuel. I probably got a big line in my head here. And then I'm gonna take off from the. Oh, no, now the wind switched again. <laughs> now the windsock is showing I landed on the correct runway. So I don't know what we're gonna do when we take off, but it'll be a challenging takeoff and hopefully a quick flight home. But hope you guys like this. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to. Tommy flies a lot. And um, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.